What's Gucci everybody, it's AJ here again, and today I want to talk about a fascinating data structure that I, that I just learned, and it's entitled the skip list, as you see in the top left corner of your respective screen. Now a skip list is really cool because it's it has just the same efficiency as a binary tree, but it's a little bit easier to explain and easier to implement. Now what is a skip list? Well, let me show you. But first of all, let me say a few things about the skip list. It is a randomized data structure. And what that means is that um, random chance is going to come into is going to come into play in the formation of this data structure. And I will show you that when I make up its implementation. It also is a log n data structure. It is log n expected time for insertion. Um, deletion and finding and the skip list works in levels and each level contains a different um, amount uh, can, will contain a different amount of elements depending on the random invariant the random principle which I'll show you but we're always going to remember that in the, the bottom level the bottom list always contains all the elements which is going to be very important now we've now I made a video about a linked list, which is again just um, elements linked together, let's say numbers, in no predetermined order, where they can you can have a doubly linked list where each node has a previous and a next, so you can go two ways with each node. But also another, but something that's required of a skip list is that you are using a linked list, but the linked list must be ordered. So the linked list must be ordered. So for instance, if I had a um, ascending linked list in my example here with the 50, it could I could not have a 49 as the next element of 50. It would have to be 50, uh, 50 or higher. So 51, 55, whatever you want. 55, I don't know if you guys have seen that video. But it must be ordered as you'll see that will make that will be make our expected time much um, log n, which is very good, and not linear like it is in most linked lists for finding and insertions. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you guys how this works. So like I said, we're, we're going to call this, um, this is going to be level 1 or level 0. So this is the bottom um, level. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have all these nodes to insert, but the first thing you want is you want the first node you want to have when you create a linked list or when you have a sorry a skip list is you want to have a node that is essentially the most negative it can be so we like some people like to call it negative infinity and the reason you do this is because you want want to make sure you have a starting node but everything that's added will go to the right of this node and nothing will go to the left and that is because you need to have a starting point for all of these nodes. You need to have a starting point for your searching, which I will show you guys how to do. So let's say I add 50, and um, a skip list is a doubly linked list. You must, you must have, it must have be doubly linked, not singly linked. And let's say I add 50 like I did last time, and let's add, I guess, 60 again, because it must be in order. And then, yeah, and then if I added if I added 55, it would go in between these two, and I'd have to create new links again. But that'd be okay. I'm really bad at drawing, and so there we go. Now, as you can see, let's say I wanted to find uh, 55. Well, I'd have to check the whole length list, right? I'd have to go, hey, is 55? I'd start at the negative infinity. Uh, node say hey is 55 here no or is is 55 is 55 greater than this node the negative infinity node no 55 isn't is 55 greater than this node no it isn't so go to the next one is 55 greater than this is this 55 equal to this node yes it is so I found it but let's say I was searching for 56 or 54 when I got to the 55 node, I, I would know I went past 54, 
And um, I, I would know I went past 54, and 54 was in fact not in the list. So I could terminate there instead of checking the rest of the list if the if the list had to was somehow longer. So, but there is but. As you see now, that find operation is still linear time. It, it's pretty arbitrary. It could be from one to n elements, but there's no there's no provable way of um, to deduce the elements are divided by two, as you see in, in something such as a binary tree or a binary search tree. Well, one thing we could do is, as you can see here, linked lists are essentially rows connected, right? What if we started to make this linked list, as, as I like to think about it, what if we made it a grid? What if I had a, had a 55 up here, I had another node that was 55 up here, and I had that connected to an, and that was connected to another linked list that had negative infinity. And basically what I did, basically now I, st I had another level and I started at this negative infinity at row one right here, and I searched for 55 again. I would go, I would look. Oh, I, sorry. I also need links between these two. What I would do, let's say, if I wanted to find 60, I would say, hey, since I only have one thing connecting with the 55, I would say, hey, is 60 greater than or was 60 equal to negative infinity? No. Is, six, is 60 greater than negative infinity? Yes, it is. So then I check this node. And I say, hey, is 60 greater than 55? Yes, it is. And then I would look I would look to see if there's a node in over here, if it's connected to another node, which it's not. But if it, if it was, if it was, I would have to check if that node is smaller. But as I can see, this is the biggest node. This is the biggest node that is smaller than my number 60. So since I know that, I can go down. I know I can go down to 55. Because remember my rule that the lowermost the lowermost level must be uh, must contain all the elements, unlike the other levels. So then I can go down to that 55 node and then keep going right and check this node and say and say hey are you 60 and say yes so I did find 60 now you can see it's pretty arbitrarily that I brought up that 55 you may be asking why I did this and are pretty dang on confused well let me try to explain so basically first of all what we're going to do here is for the 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 whole point of a skip list, I like to think of it, is to make a grid instead of a linked list where you kind of create a row or a column or really just kind of a 1D structure. In a skip list, you kind of try to make it a two-dimensional skip list, kind of like a square. And what you want to do here is you want to utilize a random chance, which actually helps helps greatly in your favor, favor to make an easily um, easily like um, navigatable list. And this is how you do it. So let's say I'm let's say I'm going to add these numbers. I'm going to start over from scratch here. Let's say I'm going to add 9 11 8 16 and 5. Okay? I'm just going to show you how to do it. So the first thing I do is I initiate my linked list. So here we go. I'm going to initiate it. So I'm going to have a node that's negative infinity, and this is row zero. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to go and I'm going to see that I'm going to add a node of nine. So I'm going to insert nine. I'm right here so far. I'm going to insert that, and there we go. I'm going to draw one. Actually, I'm going to draw this smaller because I don't have to add two later. I'm going to insert a nine, and then I'm going to draw connections between these two nodes. So there we go, um, nine. So now I've got a connection between that first node that I initialized, that negative infinity, and basically, and that nine. So now, what I need to do is I need to show you why I said this is a randomized structure in the beginning. And as you can see here in this little pop-up window, I have a coin flipper that tells me when I'm gonna create a new um, a new level. So basically what I want to do is I want to have a 50-50 chance of creating a new level for there to be log 
and possibilities. And so basically, if you create a new level, your skip list becomes more navigatable because you're able to skip more elements or such things. And the way this is supposed to work is since there's a 50-50 chance and we know every element is on the bottom row, so let's say there's four elements or let's say there's six elements, since there's a 50-50 chance that each element we add, each element we insert will go to the next, will become the next level, we know that it's kind of all about three will go on on average. And then we know about that three, about one or two will go on an average, let's say one or two. And then out of those two, it's only one average. You know what this kind of looks like? It kind of looks like a tree. So by doing so, by, by choosing to bump up some elements to easily navigate the skip tree, we kind of can implement a tree, but in an easier thought out process. So right now I inserted that nine and I always insert it to the bottom row. I insert it so it's in order on the bottom row. And then I flip a coin. And for my case, we're gonna say, we're going to say heads, move up a level, tails, stop. Tails equals stop, okay? And so now I'm going to flip this coin. You just need some kind of generator. Maybe if you're programming this, you'd use a random generator and just do zero or one. So sorry, uh, let me flip it again, sorry. Um, I got tails, so I'm gonna stop. Actually, let me just do, let me just, let's say it's heads for the sake of the matter. So I'm gonna say it's heads. So what I do here is I, I now have a new level called of nine. And basically, while the, the, this nine node here has a previous and next, it's also gonna have what I call an up and down connection where I can connect it up and down because they're gonna be able, they're gonna have to talk. And now I have a new level and I'm gonna treat it again like its own linked list and give it a node of negative infinity here at the top. And this is level one. Maybe I should have made that shorter because now I need that. Um, okay, so yeah, now that I have that, I probably want to move this actually over here. And there we go. So now I've got that. And now I've added a level. But I don't stop adding levels until I get, let's say, a tails. So, um, but the chances of getting like eight tails in a row are pretty low. It's 0.5 to the eighth. And let me flip the... Let me flip it again. Tails. So that was lucky. That was perfectly what was supposed to happen. So I got tails. So now I stop and I go on to my next insertion, which is insert 11. So now like I inserted 11, I'm just going to go boom and insert 11. I'll put it really close because I know I need to insert um, 16 later. And let's see, I've got 11 here. I do it on the bottom row like I always want to. And then I flip my coin. And what does my coin say? Did I, did I do it? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I got tail. So I don't do anything. I'm done. I'm done. And now let's do, let's um, insert eight. Sorry. And with eight, eight is going to go right here. And there you go. Now I have eight. And let me see here. I'm sorry, I forgot I forgot to mention that is very important that when you create a new level, you do create a connection between the negative infinities as well. So I have a connection between the first node, the, the negative infinity node, the constant lower node between the level zero and level one. And I I can I will speak about that in a little bit. And now that I've done eight and I got tails again, I'm going to add sixteen, and I do that by adding sixteen here, because they must be in order. Okay, now that I'm in, now that I've added 16, I'm going to flip my coin again, and let's just flip it till we get heads. Oh, dang it! I shouldn't have done that. I didn't need. I wasn't supposed to do another level until I did that. Oh, that was my bad, guys. Um, so now I flip it and I get heads again. So now I can make that another level. I wasn't supposed to do that though. And gosh, I have brain farts sometimes when I go through these. So now I've got that node. So now I've got. Two, um, the, my first row has two connections 
Okay, and basically now I flip the coin again, and hopefully I get heads again. Oh, I got tails, but let's say I get heads again, because I just want to do this. And let's say I get tails again, what I would do again is I would simply have another 16 node. Getting really unlucky with these things, and then I would create another um, infinity node, infinity, negative infinity node, for, for wrappers, and connect it to the lower level. So... There we go. Now I've got infinity and I've got this six I've got this 16 node basically reduplicated three times in three separate lists that are connected in interesting ways. So now I'm going to add in five and let me do that right here. It might be my final addition. And now I've added in five. Do 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 do. And then again, I flip the coin. So let's see if I get heads. I got tails, so I stop. But if I got heads, if I got heads, all I would do is I would simply um, put another five node. I would simply insert another five node into this link list. Some terrible luck on the machines today, sir. And I would connect them. And let me show and. Now I would have my fully completed skip list, which would look different depending on the values of what I got from that coin flip or if I decided to actually listen to them. And this is level two. But I want to note something here. There is a reason why I drew my skip list like this. This is because when you search for something, you want to start at the top left corner. You want to start right here. You want to start there so you can eat so because it's the best way to reach all the values. Now let's say I want to find 11. This is how I would go through it in the skip list. So I would start at the top left. I would start at the negative infinity node at level 2, which again like I said is right here. Then I would go look then I would what I would do is I say, "Hey, is 11 greater than negative infinity. Yes, it is. Mo yes, it is. Check the next node. So what's the next node on that level? It's 16. I'd say, hey, is 11 greater than 16? No, it's not. So then I would go back to the node I was just at and say, okay, now that I know that the next node is greater than, I'm going to go down. So now I'm at the negative infinity node of row 1. That's why you need to connect them. And now I'm, and now I'm again, I'm at 11. I'm looking for 11. Again, since I went down, I, I traverse the list, and I go, hey, 5. Okay. I say, hey, is, is 11 greater than 5? Yes. So then I go to the 5 node. And then I check if the next node is greater than what I'm searching for. Hey, is 9 greater than 11? No. So I go, so I'm, I'm right over there now. And then I check, is... 16 greater than 11. Yes, it is. So I know that the so that I know that the next element is bigger than me and must not be in that direction. Also, if I went down, I would be going to a sim similar element. I would not be able to do that. So now that I've got nine. So now that I I found nine, I know that I can go down again. And I go. What I do for nine is I check the net. I check the next element, which is 11, and say, Hey, is that? And while Wow, I do this. I did forget to mention that you check if it's equal to each other, and in this case it is. And I say, wow, I'm done. And I found the node. So as you can see here, I was able to cut down on I never searched for these elements or touched the six or touched the sixteen elements. So that comes about. That comes about to it comes out to about fully log in time. There are there's a really hairy proof around this, but it works. And now I want to say something about deletion. We know how to insert, like I showed you guys in that tree, but now I want to say something about deletion. So deletion is actually pretty easy. So let's say I want to delete 5. If I want to delete 5, all I do is, again, I can find 5. Um, I can find 5, so I, again, check. I, go, I start, start here at this, at this node in the level 2, and I say, hey, is the next node bigger than 5? Yes, it is. So I know to go down. So I'm at level 1. So then I go, hey, is the next node equal or is it greater than 5? It's actually equal to. So now that I've found the node, I know I have it. 
And what I do there is I delete that node and I also delete all the corresponding um I delete all the corresponding um levels of it. So I want to make sure that I completely delete the node. So I want to delete this five and I want to delete and the connections to it and I want to delete this five and I want to make sure that when I delete these nodes I um, don't mess up the connections and then I connect the nodes that that I connect the nodes that it was connecting to to each other. So in this case, negative infinity and nine and negative infinity and eight. So when you delete them, you have to delete all the levels of the node, which could get pretty annoying um, when you're coding it, but you could do a recursive coding to make it easier. So that's what you do in deletion and finding. Finding again, you just go through the top node. But I also want to note that Hmm, I should I want to put this a little bit over there that maybe on your really bottom row you want to have kind of a um, dud node you want to kind of have maybe an infinity node or so, of something some people do that on all the nodes but an infinity node what it ensures is that I know when I reach this node that let's say I search for a very high number that if I reach this node then I have not found that I have not found the node in my skip list and that the user has sent in a faulty value or has tried something that's or has tried to find something that's not in the skip list and so i can then once it reach if it reaches that value i know it's not there also if my value is if i reach the bottom level and my value is less is less than that value is less than let's say 9 for example let's say i'm looking for 10 i know 11 is greater than 10 but I'm, since um, 11 is greater than 10, I'm not going to go to 11, and I can't go down the 9. I know that there is no 10, so that's the logic for not finding anything there. Well, guys, I hope um, you enjoyed skip lists. Remember that they're all log in time, and they're a really cool data structure. And I really hope you have made it through this 22 video tutorial, and that everything stays great and beautiful in your life. And I hope you have a great day.